Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the live servers for Warlords of Draenor. Now I've been in TeamSpeak quite a bit today with my guildies and we've been chatting about this and that and the other. And I was discussing something which I thought was common knowledge within Warlords of Draenor. And it was quite interesting because half of them were just like, what? I never even knew this existed. And half of them were just like, ah oh, yeah. So, here I am exactly on the map you can see me in the top right hand corner and just off the coast there's a few small little islands now they're going to be the key focus so if i just zoom in clear my screen that island there the one with the sexy brown nipple it's the only way i can think to describe it it's the one with the sexy brown nipple that's where we want to go now we actually want to go to the top of this aisle, and I haven't been able to find any way to actually get on top of it if I go via the ground. However, if I was to take advantage of something, for argument's sake, like Aviana's feather, then I can blast myself up into the air, and then spin around, <laughs> give everyone motion sickness, and eventually land on top of it. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice when you do land is there are four chairs here in the middle of nowhere in a very odd looking fireplace. Scroll over the fireplace, nothing happens. There's, there's nothing to click. But sit down at one of the chairs and suddenly the fire becomes intractable. Right click onto the fire and then voila, you will suddenly see a loading screen for Mists of Pandaria. But though, and when you come out, you'll notice four chairs in a fire, in a cave, and you, if you look at your mini map, will be at the Timeless Isle. So let me just bring up the map here. That's exactly where you'll spawn out. So if you've got stuff that you want to do here, I don't know, you want to farm Hulon for the mount, or you want to defeat Archie once a day um, to try and get the Elixir of Wisdom in case you've got a, a character that you've re-rolled in 6.1 because there's a bugger all else to do. Um, you know, then things like that can help quite a lot. Also, it's a very quick way if you don't have your Hearthstone set to the shrines where all the other portals are to other places. It's a very uh, quick and easy way to get to there, he says. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's a very odd thought sort of thing, but there you go, you know, people have got gubbins that they want to still continue to do at the time as well. Emperor Shaohao rep, you can see down at the bottom there, I still haven't completed that, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a quicker method for me to travel in that way. Now, if you want to go back to Draenor, you can do a couple of things. You can um, use your Hearthstone again and just go back to your garrison because it's on a 15, 20 minute cooldown or whatever, so it's not very uh, long. Or if you're only there for a very quick, short amount of time, you can swim back into the cave, sit down at the chairs, right click onto the fire, and it will take you back to sexy brown nipple rock. And then you can just jump into the water or, or whatnot, whatever you want to do from there on in. So there you go. That is a nice little shortcut to take you from Draenor straight to the Timeless Isle. Be interesting to see how many of you knew about that in the comments down below and how many of you didn't. Be honest, you know, it's not a major thing for goodness sake. Nobody needs to show off. But, you know, just be honest. Yeah, I knew about that. No, I didn't know about that. There you go. It's a talking point. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.